Okay, and we're live. So, um, as some of you may know, tomorrow is Tesla's battery day, uh, September 22nd. It's going to start at 10.30 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. They're going to announce their new battery technology and where they're going uh, for their path forward into the future. Um, so, I'm going to make some predictions, and tomorrow after the announcement, I'll make another video and review what they actually announce. So, here are my predictions. First, I think that they're going to announce the manufacturing lines of a new cell based on a technology they bought from Maxwell. Uh, it's called the dry electrode technology. This is going to allow a larger format cell. I think it's going to be safe, non-flammable, uh, with much higher charge and discharge rates. It's going to have massive reduction in cobalt with a path to cobalt free if it doesn't already start without cobalt. Uh, and I think they're going to add a new design, which is called a tabless design, which is going to massively reduce the amount of heat generated in the cell, which is what's primarily allowing them to make a larger format cell. Um, I think that the packs are going to start somewhere between, at least in the vehicles, between 300 and 350 watt hours per kilogram just to start. And I think they're going to be manufacturing at a much higher rate per kilowatt hour. I think they're going to be built with far less impact on the environment, and they're going to be manufactured without Panasonic. I think the initial lines that they're, where they're going to install these battery factories are going to be at Giga Texas, uh, a new building in Shanghai, the new factory in Berlin, and the current building that's under construction in Fremont. Um, I think they're also going to probably do a cell to pack design for going the modules, which will further increase the pack density. I think that these new cells are going to go into the semi and cyber truck for sure. They may even go into the S and X to start. And if they do, those vehicles would go from five, you know, instead of 400 miles of range to between five and 600 miles of range. I think they're probably going to announce a Model S plaid version at the event as well. I don't think the Model 3 and the Model Y are going to get that new dry battery electrode technology and these new cells. Instead, I think they're going to get an updated 2170 cell from Panasonic with an improved energy density, but it'll be a small improvement. Um, I think the Y will get a small bump in range because of it, and I think the 3 will get an additional bump in range from that cell and a more efficient heat pump and octavel that's currently found in the Model Y. Uh, the Powerwall. Uh, I, I can't imagine them not announcing an updated Powerwall since it is battery day. I think they'll probably call it the Powerwall 3. And I think they'll probably bump the built-in inverter from 5 kilowatts to either 6 or 7.6 kilowatts. I think the storage capacity will be bumped from 14 kilowatt hours to between 16 and 18 kilowatt hours of storage using these new and improved 2170 Panasonic cells. Um, when will the model Powerwall 3 be shipping? My guess would be sometime in early 2021. I don't think they'll be shipping this year, uh, but we'll know more tomorrow. And if they do announce it in the coming weeks, we'll all be getting more information from my Tesla contact. Um, just to note that I do think that Tesla is still going to be starving for batteries for many years. And even with all the new factories being built, I think Tesla's going to need Panasonic for many years to come. So I don't, I don't expect that relationship to go away. I think they're going to need all the batteries they can get from Panasonic and other manufacturers. So that's it for now, and I will make another video tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching.